Yeah, and as you start to talk about um, how economics uh, plays into it, I think that touches on one of the social determinants of health that you were telling me about earlier. So this might be a good time to talk about how do um, how how are the social determinants of health? Well, first of all, what are they, and then how are they? How do they contribute to health equity? Yeah, absolutely. So social determinants of health is a term, a hot term these days, right? Um, what it really means are what are all of the aspects of your life that determine your health opportunity, right? So your opportunity to be healthy. So what are we talking about? We are, of course, talking about healthcare. Healthcare is a social determinant of health. The fallacy until we really started thinking about kind of this, this ecology of your life, which is really the social determinants of health is that basically if you have health insurance, if you have access to health care, you have good health. And we know that that is absolutely not the case, right? So then if, if it's not just about health care, what else is it about? And it turns out that the majority of, if, uh, of the sort of factors that determine if we have health and, and good opportunity for good health really are these other social determinants. So we're talking about housing. You know, do you have safe housing? Safe, not just from crime, but also safe, meaning, um, you know, is your, is your house uh, a, a toxic place, right? Um, are, are there um, all kinds of environmental pollutants that are making, are making you sick or either making you sick or making you sicker in your housing? Um, your actual um, uh, environment is incredibly important. Are you in a place where you are disproportionately impacted by pollution, right? Thinking about food is really important. Do you have access to healthy food and not just healthy food, but affordable and healthy food? And is it nearby? Can you access it, right? When we think about kind of food security, but also food deserts and um, uh, your ability, the, your options for healthy food. Also thinking about exercise, you know, do you live in a place where even if you can or cannot afford a gym membership, can, do you have safe sidewalks? Do you have parks? Do you have places in your area where you can exercise? I mean, these are just kind of examples. And then some of the, and I think most of us can wrap our head around many of those, but some of the more kind of complicated social determinants are also around, um, you know, social connectedness, right? And, um, and your ability as a community or as a group to advocate for yourself. These are all social determinants as well. So if you are in a place that is disproportionately impacted by, you know, industrial pollution, can you as a community, do you have the agency? Do you have kind of the knowledge? Do you have the ability to um, uh, do you have the ability to gather together and advocate for yourself? Those are really important social determinants of what, as well. So if you think about it, it's really the ecology around you that helps to determine your opportunity for health. Um, that's the best way I can think about social determinants. And of course, health care and health insurance are those social determinants as well, but they're just not the defining social determinants that I think are often, they're often mistaken for. 